very heartening for the game in Singapore to see these ladies being able to go and apply their trade overseas as the game continues to develop. As Fahana, full of running as always. The pressure getting the ball back for Singapore, but they give it straight back to the Indonesians who a loose ball there. It looked like an elbow on Dorcas. Who went down. Oh, no Hidayu there who was just pushed off it in the end. No Hidayu, 17 years old. Second cap, she plays for Busora Sports Club. There's the ball lifted in. Chance now for Venetia. It goes just wide. It's still bobbling around in the box. Lila making a nuisance out of herself. Just catching the Indonesian player there by encouraging signs from the Lionesses. Very good ball played in from the set piece. And Lila just a little over exuberant there. Catching the Indonesian player. Well, that definitely will lift the Lionesses as the Indonesians now come forward. Kind side, good covering there from Dorcas. Nineteen years old, Dorcas Chu, her first start. For Singapore tonight. Came on at halftime of the first match, Dorcas Chu. Um, provided a very energetic outlet on that left flank when she came on. And Rauda, who didn't play in that first game, but you can see what she's been brought in to do is just be that link play between the midfield and attack. Twenty three minutes in, still nil nil. Ernie, then Venetia get it away. Now again, Danell always chasing the scraps, full of running, Danell Tan. Supremely talented. There's a, a lot expected to come from Danell Tan, the 16 years old. Already has one goal for the senior side. And Singapore getting the free kick there. Rani. Strongly there. Now Fahana has space on this right wing. Ahead to Danelle. But I think she has straight offside. Yes, the flag has gone up. Uh, this is what they will need to do, Singapore. Try to come forward at pace. Put the Indonesians under pressure a little bit. Especially with the Indonesians committing bodies forward. They can try to catch them out on the break. Sneak a goal in just before halftime. Put them under a bunch of pressure. They'll make them come forward even more and maybe leave some gaps at the back to exploit.
a little like that. Just once they win possession, Singapore, they just need to be a bit more patient with it. Just play that be play a, a better ball for one of these girls to chase. Is a loose pass from the Indonesians now. Releases the nail, but oh, good work. Great work from Vivi Octaviani to step in and win the ball. Stepping forward as well, but that's a centre-back's ball that's been played. There's Fatin taking the safety-first approach, putting it out of play. Vivi Ottaviani doing really well. To step forward, win that ball. Tried to start the attack, but final ball. Just a little bit lacking, which I guess can be said or could sum up the game thus far. Uh, the Indonesians uh, looks like it might be another foul throw there, not called by the referee. No, Danelle just needs to hold on to it. Wait for the space. Oh, great feet from Danelle Tan. Wonderful turn. Just too many Indonesians crowding her out of it. Tia Dati. And Ernie. And playing in the space. Fahana will run onto it. Try to put pressure. Oh, great challenge from Fahana. Looked like she won the ball. But it's going to be called back for a free kick. I guess in fairness, uh, she did catch the player too. We'll take another look at that one on the captain. Oof, you know what? Didn't look like there's that much in it. As the Indonesian Tiki Taka machine start again. Space down on the right flank again. Good work from Nohidayu. Only 17. It's hard to believe, really. Just the maturity that she's shown playing at this level. Not only the fact that she's 17, but that she's barely played any football in the last two years and has come and done so well here on such a huge stage. Corner now for Indonesia. A huge threat in that first game. But oh, good, good defending from Singapore. Another bite the cherry for it. Straight into the grateful arms of Kusumawati. Looking to release it early. She's been solid today, Kusumawati. She's got a ton of experience. The police SA player. She played for Warriors for many years as well. Won quite a number of cups locally. It's Rauda Kamis. It's the right thing there. Patient. Plays it back. Dorcas. Good passage of play for Singapore. Venetia. Back to Ernie. This is much better from the Lionesses. Commentators curse, of course, and they give the ball right back to the Indonesians. Danger now. Ernie has to be alert. It looks like she was shoved in the back there once she cleared it. Surely that's a free kick for Singapore. Oh, it's a clear. It's, oh, clearly, had the hand raised on Ernie Sulastri. Another corner for Indonesia. Rani will deliver. Six in the box for Indonesia. High ball delivered in, still bobbling around. Danger not over for Singapore and it creeps in. Once more being undone. 
by a set piece. As Kusumawadi hangs her head low, she knows that might be a hammer blow here today. But they just couldn't clear their lines here, Singapore. Did really well there for Hana, stopping that one. But ultimately, just unable to, or being unable to clear the ball, hurting the Lionesses. They were all lining up to take a shot. As Steffi Dominguez comes on for Singapore. On her birthday, no less, will she be able to get a birthday goal for Singapore? As we have confirmation, it was Normalita who gave the Indonesians the lead. So Stephanie Dominguez on. She was very quiet in that first game, but she's very highly thought of in this camp. And Venetia lifts it forward. I fall to Fahana. Brought the ball under control with her hand. Well, it's good confirmation, no Rauda coming off for Stephanie Dominguez. So Mission Impossible for Singapore has now gotten even harder. They're really Lost that first game at 1-0. It could get worse for them. Oh, great feet there from the Indonesians. Into the side netting. They were lining up there in the center as well. Maybe being better served. To square it for a teammate. With the eyes lit up. She looks for a second of the game. Ball. Committed to that short ball now. Nice touch. Oh, great turn from Lila. Danell now. Stopped in the tracks though. By this red tide of the Indonesians. Has been a struggle for Singapore. They have fought hard though, it must be said. A lot of effort being put in. Especially on the defensive end. It's just that when they get the ball, a lot of these attacks break down. Just maybe just a little more patience needed. Just move the ball around a little bit, make the Indonesians work a little bit harder to get the ball back. There's Lila once more battling away in the center. But we'll break to Bike Amiatun. This ball seemed to evade everyone. Safira. And eventually a free kick being called, but Singapore inviting the pressure onto themselves, really failing to clear their lines time and time again. And they need at least two goals now. To try to get this to go to penalties. Does Indonesia come forward again? And then you see just a little bit more patience. Oh, good ball played out across. Just ahead of Baik Amiatun.
So what can they conjure up? Stephanie Dominguez, can she make a difference to the Singapore side? On her birthday, will she be able to get herself a birthday gift? Brings the Lionesses back into this one as they look to qualify for the Women's Asian Cup. Great opportunity for both these sides, of course, with this truncated group with North Korea and Iraq both withdrawing. But I guess just the experience of playing these matches as well will be beneficial for Singapore. At least the Singapore side that has been mentioned many times now that has barely played any football in the last two years. So if anything, I guess it's just good for them to be back on a football pitch playing a competitive match. This is by no means over. Still plenty of time for Singapore to get back into this one. Moati comfortably collects that cross. Oh, it looked harder than it was, to be fair. She did well in the end, Kusmoati. Adi Mustakiana. The Indonesian captain again they're just they're inviting the taunting the Singaporeans almost but coach Stefan has obviously told Singaporeans to keep their shape not to get drawn into the press There's once more just the initial ball in the center some seems to keep finding an Indonesian Venetia gets it back for Singapore. Lila out to Fahana. Early ball forward looking for Danelle. Cleared away by Indonesia. And Ernie misses it but Shazwani there to clear up. Another chance now to build slowly for Singapore. Good work. Dorcas has Stephanie ahead of her. Dayu attempts to switch it. And Danelle doing well to win the ball. Venetia now over the top looking for the run of Fahana. We just checked it but has done well to keep it in. Fahana! Stephanie Dominguez was coming in. The late run from the left but much better from Singapore. Probably the best passage of play thus far in this game. Fahana doing ever so well to keep it in. I guess from that angle, cross really tough. But encouraging signs for the Lionesses. They've shown just there, they've got the quality, they've got the quality to play the ball around. Just need to maybe not be overawed by the occasion. Oh, Hidayu doing really well. But loses out. To bike. Venetia that time clearing it up. Let's Hidayu anywhere will do. Yes. That, that's what's hurting them, Singapore. Like when, when they do win the ball back, they sort of uh, just clear their lines. But we saw earlier, they can play their way out of trouble. You see, the Indonesian coach doesn't seem too happy. He's winning, Rudy Eka Priyambada. They are essentially 2-0 essentially up. Having won 1 0 in that first leg. As you see some of these images, just all action from both sides. Yeah. 
See Lila Tanu's been a bright spot so far on debut. The Lion City Sailors player. Stephanie Dominguez, can she be the spark that inspires Danelle Tan? The talent can't be questioned. Only 16 years old, so much expected of her leading the line for Singapore. This is only her fourth cap as well, Danelle Tan. She's the youngest ever player to score for Singapore at the senior international level across both the men's and women's. She shows you the talent that she does possess. As Venetia once more doing really well to win the ball back. Lila trying to put pressure on Adi Mustakiana. We approach the end of the first half. It's been a tough day out from Singapore. Once again undone by a corner. A corner that some might say shouldn't have been given. But nothing can be done about that. The only thing that matters is that they are 1-0 down. And that they need to find a way to win this match. Chance now for Danelle. Put Vivi Octaviani under pressure. Oh, good clearance in the end from Octaviani. And Lila doing well to win the ball, but again, get the initial tackle in, but the second ball always picked up by an Indonesian. Shazwani. Stops the Indonesian attack in its tracks. Pia Darty with the throw in for Indonesia. And it goes out for corner. Danger for Singapore looms. The goal scorer there on your screen. They need to keep their discipline, keep their concentration. Can't afford to concede just before halftime. Surely can't afford to concede from yet another corner. Zirani swings it in. Kusumawati comes from it, misses it. And they just about get it away, Singapore. Chance to come forward, Danell. Doing really well. Has Stephanie Dominguez ahead of her. Cuts inside. Try to play it across to Lila Tan. And no way around that Indonesian defense. Who've held firm. Every time Singapore tried to put them under pressure, they've, they've responded really well. Oh, great covering there from Lila putting Adi under pressure. This is better from Singapore, pressing higher up the pitch. Not allowing them all that time and space which they have enjoyed for much of not only this game but the first game. We have played the 45. Into added time now. And again, Venetia, she's done really well here today in that Makalele position almost, winning the ball back on multiple occasions. Headed away by Oni Sulastri. Shazwani. Only as far as Helsia. Yeah, 
headed away by Ernie. And again, this is where they found themselves. A lot of trouble, Singapore. It's not being able to be decisive in those moments. And eventually, the shot comes in. But again, just time and time again for Singapore. Struggling to get the ball away and just putting pressure on themselves. We need to get to half time. Singapore regroup. Come out for this last 45. With everything that they've got. We have played the allotted two minutes of added time. Nadi Mustiakiana. Indonesian captain who's been very assured at the back. As the referee calls time on that first half. First half that has put Indonesia in the driver's seat to qualify for the Women's Asian Cup. Stephanie Dominguez came on just as the goal was conceded on her birthday. You can see the Indonesians, the body language is much better as they trudge in for the break. For Singapore, they'll need to find a way to dig deep and somehow try to conjure something up in these next 45 minutes. For, for Indonesia, they're sitting pretty once more. Leading from a corner as we take, highlight, take a look at the highlights of that first half that was very early on. The ball going straight to Fani. And the Indonesians, I guess, for all the possession that they had, much like their first game, they were limited to just shots like this from distance. And these balls over the top of Kusmawati, very, very quick off a line, time and time again. To clear the danger. And again, you see these balls just. Easy enough for Kusumawati to deal with. This free kick did sting the palms, but she did well to keep it out. And this was Singapore's best chance of the half. Funny, not looking convincing from those crosses. Maybe that's something that they need to take notice of. And this was the goal. Again, this is a pattern we saw time and time again. Singapore failing to clear their lines and eventually being punished. Multiple attempts. At goal, the Indonesians, and eventually the pressure telling. And once more, coming from a corner, much as it did and threatened in that first game. So they've now conceded two goals to these Indonesians, the Singaporeans, as this was an effort that went into the side netting. This was another good chance for Singapore. The build-up play too. This one was really, really good. Fahana doing really well on their right wing to keep that ball in. But the cross needed to be a little bit better. Because this was the last action of that first half. So at the break, it is Indonesia in the lead. 1-0 on the night. Remember, they did win their first game 1-0. And if it stays like this, they will qualify for the Women's Asian Cup. For Singapore, much, much better second half needed. They will need at least two goals to force this into a penalty shootout. But for now, at halftime, it's Indonesia 1, Singapore 0. Two years since they played a competitive game. They haven't played... A league match for a long time as we're underway here in the second half. Coach Stefanang, I'm sure he's tried to rally the two troops in that half-time interval. The equation, as we've said, is very simple. If it stays like this, Indonesia will go through. A draw not good enough for Singapore either. 
Uh, they'll need to score two goals at least to push it to a penalty shootout. With Adi Mustakiana, the Indonesian captain, who starts a lot of these attacks. Almost plays as the libero. Tiadarti. Oh, nice turn there from Zara. And putting Fatin under pressure. Still going, Zara. And again, this is what we saw a lot of in that first half. Zara Muzdalifa, she is the poster girl for this Indonesian side, but it was Fatin just dwelling on the ball there, not clearing her lines and allowing that pressure to build and the mistake to happen. As Kusumawati, they've been playing it short. Will she decide to go long now? Change of tactic from the goal kick. Will we see a change of fortunes in this second half for the Lionesses? For Hana, she was very quiet in that first half. Uh, she had a very different first half in there. Game on Friday night. She was a real live wire. It was a threat. To the Indonesians, need to try to get her involved, need to bridge that gap between Danelle and the midfield as well. Shazwani will take the throw in. Zara, they're doing well to cut it out. It's just, they just seem to be a little bit sharper, these Indonesians. Getting to the ball first. Lila. Finds Venetia. Looking for that pass through to Fahana. Just a simple ball. Would have sufficed. But now, Vivi Otaviani and Adi Mustikiana. I would love to see the stats and the amount of passes these two have played. Seen so much of the ball. It's Fahara there doing what she does best. Being a real nuisance. Good at putting them under pressure there. Lila does well to win the ball. Finds Danelle oh, just ahead of her. But this is a more encouraging start for Singapore. Hidayu does well to get to the ball first. Just ahead of Danelle, but better, much better from the Lionesses. They need to keep their nerve now, though. Oh, well done from Venetia. Once more winning the ball back, but given away by Fatin to bike Amiyatun. Zara. No way around. The experienced Ernie Sulastri. With Singapore trying to commit forward, there will be more gaps for the Indonesians to try to exploit. But they need to come forward, Singapore. If it stays like this, they will not qualify as Rani you know given the free kick this as we've seen time and time again is a danger for the Singaporeans not dealt with these balls Ever so convincingly. Need to clear. Oh, good strength shown there. And they defended that much, much better, Singapore. Shazwani, she's looking for someone. You can hear Kusumawati saying, Gotta move. The movement key here.
Kohana. Good strength shown by Zara. Once more. It's the Adi and Vivi show at the back. Bike. Oh, great pace shown inside the Zara. Oh, more. He wasn't sure, was she? A much more open game now in the second half. Oh, this is a great turn from Zara. Completely wrong footing, Venetia. And oh, great pressure shown from the Indonesians. Okta, the goal scorer. Losing out to Ernie Sulastri. The rock at the back for Singapore, the captain. Can she find a way to inspire her troops? And oof, you know what? That might have been a corner for the Indonesians. I think boy, they try to go for a long goal kick. Got a bit lucky there, Zara straight offside. Chris Moore just started again. It is. It has been tough for her and, and her distribution. They go short. The Indonesians putting the Singaporeans under a ton of pressure, but they're better, better, much better from them. Venetia did a great job of just sitting deep for Singapore. Dorcas, oh, good touch from Stephanie Dominguez. The ball inside couldn't match that touch, but again, Venetia ever so well to win the ball back. Probably the player of the match thus far for Singapore, Venetia Lim. 17 years old. Holding her own against these Indonesians. <laughs> Out wide now to Okta. Facing up to Shazwani. Zara. Ernie oh, Sulastri. <laughs> Given the ball, or she's given a free kick away in a dangerous position, uh, especially because this hasn't been their strong suit defending set pieces. Maybe just frustration boiling over there for any Sulastri. Can't really uh, argue that decision. Uh, they have substitution for the Indonesians. Devi Tia coming on for the goal scorer. Okta. And now, free kick in a very dangerous area for the Indonesians. Try to go straight for goal. Kusumawati does well. Trying to catch Chris Mawati out. Oh. Question that decision. Like they, they had so much success from just putting it into the box instead of going direct to goal. From Fahana to get the way of that ball. Put a little pressure on Pia Darty and Venetia just catching the Indonesian player. 
10 minutes into the second half. Oh. An improved performance from the Lionesses thus far. As they chase the game here, looking for a way back in. They do need two goals. Rani now on the edge of the box. Stephen Dominguez, oh, the clearance only as far as Zara. But again, Ernie Solastri doing ever so well. Clean up for the Lionesses. Oh, a shot from way, way off from Helsha. Really far out, but I guess this confidence now brimming in this Indonesian side. Is they lead 1-0 on the night, but they've also got the victory from the match on Friday night. Again, Singapore just find a spark from somewhere. Just got to get one. Maybe some nerves will come into the Indonesians. One who hasn't looked nervous at all is Captain Adi. Oh, great turn there from Zara. Beautiful one, two. Zara's bearing down on goal, switches it across. Oh, she plays it over the bar. Baik Amiyatu with a glorious chance to make it 2 0. This is lovely work from Zara. Unselfishly laid it across into the path of Baik Amiyatu. Who blazed it over the bar. Oh, great touch there from Fahana. Danel. Tough shift for her up front, Danel Tan, but they'll get another goal here, Singapore. For Hana, Lila. Space for the Indonesians. Oh, great challenge. And again. No, Lila. Zwani. Looking for Fahana. Fahana doing really well. Ernie hoofing it forward. And Stephanie Dominguez brings it under control. She's gone out left. In the second half, Stephen Dominguez, Doha seems to have gone more central. As they play it in now, turn and shot from Danelle. Had Doha up front with her though. It might have been a better option just playing that one-two. Stretching the Indonesian defense a little bit. The Indonesian coach looks on. Dayu. All the way back to Ernie. Azwani. They do well here. Singapore. Dorcas. Patin. No Hidayu. Much better from the Lionesses now. And Rani putting Dorcas under pressure. Looked like she might have caught her there, but... Venetia once more winning the ball back for the Lionesses. Space out wide for Fahana. Oh, vital interception there by Tia Darty. And once more, it's like a magnet. She got magnet in a boost, Venetia. Amazing. Once again. Almost forcing the turnover from the Indonesians. Ready. 
loose ball from the Indonesians now. Ernie finds Fahana out wide. Looking to take them off. Fahana, oh, good ball into the channel for Danel. But great covering from Vivi Ottaviani. By encouraging, encouraging signs for Singapore here. Oh, great challenge across from Vivi Ottaviani, 24 year old. Now, Danel. Miscuing across a little bit, but it has gone out for a corner for Singapore. As we've lost pictures here from Tajikistan. Uh, we hope they will be back shortly for the Singapore corner. Yes, it will be Stephanie Dominguez. To take it for Singapore. It's been a source of frustration over the course of these two games. The corner from Singapore. Stephanie Dominguez into the near post. It will be another corner for Singapore. You can see a rallying cry from the bench for the Lionesses. It's a great opportunity for them to level things here in Dushanbe. Steph once more. Not cleared very well by the Indonesians. Stephanie Dominguez gets another bite at the cherry. Plays it in. Flicked on by Fahana. Over the bar. What a chance there for Singapore. A glorious opportunity to get level. But the attempt put over the bar. What a chance there. Their best opportunity over the two games. But this is how the game has been going. Singapore very much in the ascendancy now. Tia Darty. Vivi Ottaviani. There is a different Singapore side. They have come out here in the second half. A great work from Shazwani. Referee's blown the whistle. It looked like a crunching challenge. The Indonesians will invite this to alleviate some of that pressure. Tia Darty. Straight to Stephanie Dominguez. Fahana. Oh, great skill from Fahana. Finds Danel. She's continued to run Fahana, but Danel going inside now. Stephanie Dominguez. Fahana will not give it up. I can assure you that, but just asking too much of her from Stephanie Dominguez. But they're looking very dangerous down this right hand side, Singapore. As they did in pockets in that first game with Fahana down on this right flank. Danel coming across. But they need to fashion more chances. They carved out that amazing opportunity to draw level. As Lila comes off for Li Xian. Oh, 
And double substitution for the Singaporeans. As Dania comes on as well for Noshazwani. Bike as well off for the Indonesians. Firanda on. She was a bit of a live wire when she came on in that first game. And No Hayati on as well. We'll just sit in that central midfield area. So changes on both sides. Will it be able to affect change either way? Oh, it's been a very encouraging start for Singapore in the second half. The Indonesians who, it must be said, have been the better side over the course of the first three halves. They have been played in the first match and this match. But the tide definitely turning here in Dushanbe. There's still plenty of time for them to turn it around to Singapore. As Li Xian has come on. Along with Dania Kasima from GTT Circuit FC. Li Xian, 24 years old, plays for Police SA, winning her 29th cap here today. There's Nohayatu battling it out with Li Shen. The two substitutes. Dork is picking it up. Has Fahana wide right to Danelle. That combination has caused trouble for the Indonesians in the second half. This will suit the Indonesians now. They've been very good in possession. Just would love some time with the ball. Well, I guess Zara now who's been very, very dangerous. Giving Dania her first day. She's still going, Zara. Cuts it inside. Oh, great clearance from Venetia. And Fahana, the ball is getting stuck under her feet almost. Gives it away to Tia Darty, but... Her cross straight into the arms of Kusumawati. Kusumawati goes long. Looking for Stephanie Dominguez. Does well. Oh. Benicia or Dorcas rather. Was hoofing the ball ahead there. Didn't have to do that. I understand they might be wanting to push the pace a little bit, but... Need to make better decisions, these Singaporean girls, in that in these crucial moments. There's oh, great little touch on from Stephanie Dominguez. She's really come alive in this second half, too, alongside Fahana. Oh, just going out of play. You see No Hayati, one of the substitutes alongside Ferranda. Oh, Zara doing really well once more. She has been superb all game, Zara Musdalifa. It's Ferranda now trying to put the Singapore defense under pressure once more. And it will be a corner for Indonesia. 70 minutes gone now. Can they firstly hold on and not concede from this corner, Singapore? Indonesia have been a huge threat from these set pieces over the course of these two games. Kusumawati gathers it, tries to release it quickly. Danell, three on one for Danell. 
Maybe it would have been better served just building it up a little bit. And the Indonesians here under no pressure or oh, Adi. You have so much time to build it up. Neat little passage of play, but again, Venetia doing ever so well to win the ball back. She's still going, Venetia. Fahana couldn't keep the ball in. That combination of Venetia and Dorcas in the center in the second half provided a solid base for Singapore. It's Tia Darty. Cross straight to Venetia Lim. But again, these second balls just seem to find a way to the Indonesians. And they come forward once more. Ernie's touch. Gave Zara a little glimmer of hope, but Kusmawati is very quick off a line. We've seen multiple times. Thirty seventh cap today for Kusumawati, the thirty year old. And Steph Dominguez gets the ball. Oh, a lovely little nutmeg there. His times. Taking away four Stefanung's charges. They did start this half very brightly, but seems to have settled back with the Indonesians dominating possession. Fahana here, can she conjure something up? Again, it just goes back to the need for a bit more patience. And I guess this is something that will come from experience. Um, this is a side that has not played competitive football of any form, not just at international level for over two years. The leagues have all stopped because of the pandemic. This is also a team missing a lot of its overseas-based players. So the circumstances have been very trying for them to even get here. I think we can celebrate the fact that they are on the pitch. And they've given a very good account of themselves. Of course, it's not over yet. F more than 15 minutes. Stranger things have happened in football. They just need two goals. Let's get the first one. His Indonesian side is a young side as well. It's a side that hasn't played a lot of football either. Let's put them under pressure. Oh, great ball through there. Between the defenders. But just ahead of Nohayati. Well, they come against Singapore. Can't fault the determination that has been shown, but at times just like that, at those crucial moments, uh, whether it's concentration or just a lack of experience selling. Randa now coming forward for the Indonesians. Twisting, turning, oh clever there from Hidayu to win that free kick. 17 years old, she will be one of the success stories from this tournament. No, Hidayu started out as an ex-midfielder, started football.
fulfill her father's dream of seeing his children play the game. There's no Hiati He's coming forward. And no way around Dorcas who alongside Venetia Lim is putting a great shift in the center of the park in the second half having moved in from the wing. Ernie finds Fahana. He needs to hold on to it. Fahana. Oh, she is something, isn't she? Fahana. Great skill shown by her. But again, it's just these flashes that are shown. Just can't put together a decent passage of play. Maybe create some chances. Could this be it now for Hana or oh, Adi across very quickly? The skipper. Fana flicks it on. They slowly edge forward to the lionesses. Once more, <laughs> slowly gaining ground in Singapore. Danelle, Danya tried to play in the early cross, but straight to the Indonesian goalkeeper Fani. Twelve minutes remaining for Stefanang and his lionesses, but first they will need to deal with the threat of Ferranda, who's been a live wire since she's come on in the second half. And she's won the Indonesians a corner. Can they survive the threat of the set piece? And you know what? I almost creeped in once more. No Hiati there with the touch. Look, the well worked corner straight off the training ground. The flick on. And oh, just there. It wasn't far away. Almost. Put this game to bed there, no Hayati, but it's still 1 0. Kusumawati has been struggling with her goal kicks, but the defense doing really well. Forced to no Hayati! Straight down the throat of Kusumawati, and only Slastri is down, the captain. And he just been caught by a trailing arm. Not real. But no real intent in there for sure. More substitutions for the Indonesians. Sabrina Mutiara on for Safira. Sabrina started that first game and it'll be Nella on for Vinicius Ophanius. Young Vinicius Ophanius who made her debut in the last game winning her second cap here. Go, 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 go. 
Just more better kick from her to Fahana. Dorcas. Out wide to Fahana. Good ball from Dorcas Chu. Fahana now facing up to Tia. Darty, who's not dealt to that most convincing manner. But it almost went for a corner for Singapore. In fact, I think it might be a corner. As Dania comes forward to take it. Wants to throw in rather. Flicked on by Fahana. Stephanie Dominguez trying to put the Indonesian defense under pressure. They've put it out for a corner now for Singapore. This is where they fashion their best chance of the game. Did the lionesses and you can see. It can be put under pressure this Indonesian side. Will this be the moment? Stephanie Dominguez stands over the ball on her birthday. Fahana in there, Danelle in there. Again to the near post. It's cleared away by the Indonesians. Coach Stefanung quickly getting the ball back. Wants it back in play. Knows that time's running out. Dania. Fahana is looking for Stephanie Dominguez. It's Zara Muzdalifa now. Trying to switch it across. That was a good ball, but well cut out. By No Hidayu. Li Shen. It's been quiet since she's come on. Li Shen. But then again, most of the attacks concentrated on the right hand side. In this second half for Singapore. Dominguez plays a one-two with the Indonesian player. Benicia. Less than seven minutes left. They've got to push bodies forward here, Singapore. It is all or nothing. As Helsha comes forward. Only does well to hold it up a little bit. Adi. All across to Firanda. Is it going now, Firanda? Dania clears for Singapore. Just over five minutes left. They need to push more bodies forward. They've got to commit forward now, Singapore. As it's almost creeped in there. The cross put in. Zara was running onto it. Both her and Kusumawati missed it. And it almost just creeped in. Ooh, fairy moments there for Singapore. And Kusumawati. The uh, committed challenge. Taking too many touches there, Kusumawati. Trying to gain a little ground. I don't know why the referees. Like, she can't be time wasting, ref. <laughs> why would she. Oh, that's a strange decision by the referee. Don't see why the Singaporean keeper would be trying to play for time when they're chasing a goal. Danelle now gets there first. Does well, Danelle. Can she keep it in play? And it's gone for Indonesian throw. Ball went out of play. 
before the Indonesian defender got there. 86 minutes now played for Hana. Oh. At 23 years, the Tanjung Paga United winger for Hana. I guess one of the many bright spots that will come from this tournament. Oh, great turn. But the ball played inside. Straight to an Indonesian. Well, once more stopped in her tracks by Venetia. Oh, great turn there from No Hayati. Getting a bit messy now, Venetia in the wars. Time running out, ticking away here for Singapore. Miranda, Adi. Nishina finds the nail. Oh, beautiful turn from the nail. Once more isolated has Fahana down on this right hand side. Oh, the touch just letting Fahana down. But they come again, Singapore. The nail once more. Oh, great touch, but coming back from an offside position. Means Stephanie Dominguez coming back from an offside position. Didn't look like there was much in there. Surely couldn't be for the high boot. But they come away with it once more, the Indonesians. They'll be very happy. They've been great in possession over the course of these two games. I'm sure they will just hold on to the ball now, slowly work it forward. Oh, once more, great skill there shown. They, they, they are a very skillful bunch of players. It must be said, these Indonesians. Technically, they've been very impressive. Tactically as well. On how they move the ball around. Credit to Rudy Eka Priambada, who, like Coach Stefanung, only... Took over this side at the start of the year. A very well-traveled coach, Rudy. Who's been in Australia. I also spent time in Bahrain. As he looks now to be leading the... Indonesian women's side to the AFC Asian Cup. The first time they would qualify since 1989. So this will be some achievement for the Garuda Pratiwi. Who are in the top 100 of the world as Ernie plays it forward to Fahana. And we've almost played the full 90. Again, the Singaporeans struggling to clear their lines, which really has been the pattern of this game. We will get two minutes of added time here. Adi, the Indonesian captain, swing it in. Trying to catch Kusumawati off a line, who knows, got to get it down the pitch quick. Pressure being put on the Indonesian defense. It's resulting in a turnover for Hana. And eventually the Indonesians clear. The need to get the ball up the pitch quick, Singapore. 
to at least try to get a point from these games. But not like that, giving away straight to Zara. The Indonesians now come forward, not taking the foot off the pedal either. Danya. And again, Singapore, it's been a struggle over the course of these two games for them to keep possession, especially against these Indonesian side who are so good in possession as well. Um, not easy having not played competitive football for a long time coming all the way to tajikistan playing a team ranked quite some way above them in the in the rankings fitness as well must be really hard on the singaporeans here as well having not played competitive football suddenly played two games in four days but They've been warriors here, these lionesses, and they're still coming forward, still pushing forward for Hana now. As yet another attack breaks down though. And we surely won't have much time left. As it looks likely the Indonesia. And indeed they have qualified for the Asian Cup in this Group C qualifiers. You can see what it means to Zara. But really has been the standout player for this Indonesian side. And you can see there, Dorcas Chu, the emotions getting the better of her. She's run her heart out in this second half. For Hana as well, who was a, a big bright spot in this second half for Singapore. But ultimately, it is the Indonesians who have tasted victory here over the course of two games. Tough for these Lionesses to take, but it was in tough circumstances that they've gone over to Tajikistan, all the way to Dushanbe, to take on the Garuda Patiwi. As you can see, No Hidayu, 17 years old, she made her debut. And did really well in their first game. Coach Stefan said it was... The best debut he'd ever seen. Today as well, she's, she's been very, very solid at the back. And she will learn from this. As will the rest of the Lionesses who can hold their head up high here. As the Indonesians celebrate, they admittedly, you would say, were the better team over the course of the two games. And in the end, the difference was the defending at set pieces both goals conceded by singapore coming from corners so unfortunate but at this level mistakes get punished but it will be something for the lionesses to learn from i'm sure a lot of positives to take from this both matches were competitive, only 1-0 each. As we await to hear from both coaches. As you can see, no Hidayu there. Still overcome with emotion. But there's no shame from her, any of these lionesses really, in, in trying circumstances to go this far, to put on that jersey, and, and they've definitely put in a good shift. You, know, you can't fault the effort. And they will come back stronger from this. But for Indonesia, what a result for them as well. Having last qualified in 1989. 
and they'll be going to India next year for the AFC Women's Cup and it is a tournament as well that does have a lot of sp places up for grabs for World Cup qualification. Five teams qualify to the World Cup directly from the Asian Cup. And there's still space for another two teams that will go into a playoff. So credit to the Indonesians over the course of these two games, having won 1-0 both times against the Singapore side. The jubilation for the Indonesians. As we take a look at the highlights here. And this was the goal. And this was the downfall and the undoing of the Singaporeans failing to deal with the corners. They had multiple attempts at it and eventually the Singaporeans were punished in the same way that they were in their first game. And it was Okta's goal. The difference here today, much like you bike Amiatu's goal in their first game. And you could say, you can't argue that result. The balance of play, they had the better chances in Indonesia. Zara was a standout player for them. But the important thing for Singapore is to, to learn from this experience. A lot of young players in this side. A number of debutants. Nicole Lim got her debut. As did Lila Tan today. No Hidayu as well, 17 years old. Lila was 18, Venetia 17. Dorcas only 19. Venetia was great in the center of the park. And this though was the chance for Singapore. Stephanie Dominguez on her birthday as well. Putting in a great ball. The flick on from Fahana was amazing. It was offside as well. But these are signs of encouragement for Coach Stefano, who hasn't been in charge for long, to work on as, as the Lionesses look to get back to playing regularly. There's no Hayati chance there. And you see a lot of these chances from set pieces. And Kusumawata, you'd say, not really. Tested all that much throughout the game, but we'll hear first from Stefanung. Uh, firstly, congratulations to Indonesia for the qualification. 